Can bullets save your life? Find out at 11, but first we have breaking news from Semi-Site on the field. This is Semi-Site reporting and the man in front of us is a nut puncher. We're playing rules, survival, and protection is everything, so cover your nuts, we got a crazy one today. and welcome back to another video now today we have rules of survival this game's a bit difficult to record just because I'm using the YouTube gaming mobile recording app and uh, I often don't like to talk in the moment of this game because anything can happen I can die very easily in the first you know minute of the game or like this particular footage I lasted until I got second place on this one so it was about a 30 minute video and uh, I really don't like to commentate, it kind of feels weird talking to somebody that isn't there for something I'm going to upload later on where you guys are there. So it's a bit difficult to record these, so in this one I just turned off the audio and I'm voicing over it at a later date when I'm editing and I have the chance to explain what's going on in the game. Because I don't know what's going to happen in any game, it might be different at any you know, given moment. Also, due to the unpredictable nature of this game, I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Most of the editing happens in my before my intro and in my outro. Those are the only things I edited in this video. Everything else is completely what happens during the game. It's 30 minutes of uncut, unedited, just straight video uh, from this point on. Now, as you can see, this is a battle royale. I believe 120 people are on board this aircraft right now. They do still have the Christmas theme uh, on right now, so that's pr that's why you're seeing the sort of candy cane plane. I basically opened the map and saw that I was going to be we were going to be launching right through the middle of the map or through the side and the left side of the map. So I wanted to head to one of my most it's one of my better spots where it's secluded and you can get a lot of good things from it. Now, I'm just really parachuting down to my location, but I wanted to ask you guys, do you want to see this game in real time? That means 30 minutes of just pure game. Um, I can voice it over, or I'm actually messing around a little bit with uh, the audio in the game during the game. So maybe I can do like commentaries during the game so that way I don't really need to edit it, but then that's the thing. If I'm gonna edit it down or if I'm gonna fast forward it, um, it doesn't make sense for me to talk during the game. Uh, I can also do sort of like highlights, like maybe play a couple games. It took me about five hours and I'd say maybe 20 plus games to get this footage. That's why this game is so unpredictable. I lost right away in about 10 of them. I went to about top 10 in about five of them. And this was the only one that I went top five and even top three. So it is a very unpredictable game. And uh, I mean, just let me know what you guys want to watch. If you do like the video, go ahead and put a like if you like it this way. Um, if you want me to change something up, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want me to do. Speed it up. I can also transition from this point where I'm just gathering some materials. And in about, I'd say maybe five minutes or maybe two minutes, um, I'm going to meet somebody and we're going to kill him. Because that's what the name of the game is, right? Rules of survival. So I have to survive. You know, I have to be the last one standing. So unfortunately, I do kill a lot of people here, um, but that's the game. But let me know if you just want me to show you the killing or you want me to sort of take you step by step in what my process is. Right now, I heard some shooting and on the top center, you can actually see, see it where the shots were coming from, or at least the sound was coming from. They usually do this, so whenever I have... Um, my game muted when I'm, whenever I'm in like the doctor's office and I don't want to hear, you know, or so I'd want somebody else to hear me playing, I'll just mute it and I'll look at the top uh, coordinates and just see where the shots are coming from, where the footsteps are coming from. So in this point, I know that this is a very, very uh, popular area. That's why I kind of uh, launched a little bit before this. I didn't want to get to this place where the crates are just because a lot of people are here and I'm sort of just looking around. I don't really have m anything good. I just have what well, I'm. I have good things. I have two uh, assault rifles, but the scopes aren't good. I think I have a 2x on my um, M4A1, so I use that one to sort of just peek through 
and I'm kind of just looking to see where they're moving from and I see him right over there next to that crate I see him popping his head so I shoot him because he's still I forget that I'm actually an auto I actually, I actually hate auto or, or burst fire on my assault rifles so after this kill I do change it to single um, single shot but I kill him and, and I basically wait there's been a lot of games where I kill somebody and then I go loot his body and I end up dying because somebody's either next to me, somebody heard me, uh, somebody sees me going to the loot. So I kind of just wait and I peer over and I see where is anybody. If, if it's like about two minutes and nobody's gone to it, I usually just tend to go to the loot, but I uh, flank it. I go the wide way around and just in case somebody does see the package and uh, you know they're maybe off on that hill and they're heading towards it, I'll be able to cut them off on, on, a, on our paths to the loot. Now keep in mind that just to get this particular uh, video, I played like at least 20 rounds of this. Um, so I'm being extra cautious. I'm just making sure that you know I have a good video that I want to post up onto YouTube. Um, so I kind of just take my time with it. I see the packages over there and remember that it is in Christmas mode. So whenever somebody dies, normally they'll leave a, uh, a little blue, uh, it's kind of like a blue, um, quadrilateral like it's a 3d shape but it's kind of like a rumbus that's in 3d form um, and then I see this guy walking in the air now I don't know if he's hacking or something but I shoot him and I see that I'm not taking any hit markers off of him I'm not taking any life from him so I'm kind of like okay I don't know what that was I don't know what I'm doing but I'm just gonna get this guy's stuff oh and this is what I wanted to bring up the uh, when they die they're now gifts it's for the uh, Christmas time so I kind of am hesitant, I know that there's somebody up there, and I look to my left, and I see him prone. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to move around him, hopefully he won't see me, and I just take this kill. I'm not sure if this guy was, maybe he was just lagging on my end, or on his end, where I saw him in the air, or if he was in fact, you know, doing some sort of hack to get him across the map uh, a lot faster, but I did end up killing him. I don't know if it was the guy that was in the air, but, you know, I... I know that there was somebody there and I killed that guy so it stands to reason that that was the guy that was walking in the air now after this uh, from the map I don't really show it too well actually I don't think I pop up the map throughout this whole uh, game but there is a white circle that is in the map that you have to get to basically like in any BR game the way they progress this game is that they push gas towards the middle and wherever that white circle is that's the safe zone so you want to get in that safe zone just to make sure that you're not going to lose health in the gas uh, because after a while this first wave is not that bad but after a while it does knock your health a lot and uh, I've had my fair share of lost games because I've you know stayed in the gas too long or I was uh, looting some buildings that were in the gas and I actually get into the gas here but I have a med kit that will heal me up pretty quickly so it wasn't that bad so right now I'm just you know this is one of the more popular areas so I'm just looking and I actually see that there was some killing going on I didn't loot that present right there but it appeared so I assume that there was at least at one point more than four players here so I just keep you know a cautious eye and uh, looking everywhere I think I zoom into this area right here where people usually tend to uh, snipe from and uh, I make sure that I'm always I'm always blocked by something uh, right here I'm out in the open that's why I'm facing down that you know valley but I'll usually either stay next to a tree or next to a boulder just so I have some coverage if I do hear fire or shots being fired um, oh here's the safe zone really quickly but uh, if I do ever hear you know shots being fired I have a chance to uh, duck behind a tree or duck behind a uh, boulder now as uh, as we've seen before you know you just kind of always want to be on the lookout um, I'm moving to this house just because it's in the safe or it's a little bit out of the safe zone but it covers uh, houses cover you a little bit better obviously people have to look inside the house to make sure that you're in there but uh, it's a good thing that you want to stay near the safe zone but not necessarily in the safe zone if there's any players that are either you know they spawn very or they landed very 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 far away they're gonna be moving and pushing towards the safe zone and they might catch you uh, from behind. Now, I wanna mention that there's a lot of people that I see in this game 
that I didn't see when I was playing the game. So I could have died very easily. Uh, luckily, I didn't. Um, but yeah, it, you never know who is next to you. You never know how far they are from you. And you never know if they, you know, see you or if they're just, you know, tracking you or if they're just, you know, following you. So that way at the end, when you've done all the killing, they just take you down. Luckily, this wasn't the case. I think uh, some of the ones that I that I see in uh, when when I was editing, they might have not seen me, so I was kind of safe throughout the whole game. But it was really, honestly, just being very lucky. Uh, the right now, the gas is going to be pushed in. I know it's the first wave of gas, so it's not going to hurt me that much. So I stay a little bit more um, longer than I should in the houses, just so that way I pick up some loot that maybe is a little bit better than mine, or maybe just is not damaged as much as mine um really quickly while well, i'm just sort of looting and i don't think i kill for a little bit in, in in this part of the video uh i wanted to mention you guys that i wanted to do something cool with this game in particular i want to get up to 100 kills not in one game but collectively so in this game i think i have about four or maybe five kills so we would start a tally and it would start with this video and it would basically be a race to 100 kills. I think that's something cool that you can do in, in a BR game. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people on YouTube and a lot of people even on Twitch, you know, live streamers that, that stream games sor sort of similar to this, like Fortnite or uh, Battlegrounds um, or Player Unknown. Uh, they try to do 100 wins. Now, I don't think I'm nearly as good as them, but I'll do uh, 100 kills. And then, you know, as I'm doing this, uh, you progressively get, you know, better at the game, so I would not mind, you know, having like a 100 kill or 100 win uh, video later on in the future. But ju just let me know if you guys want to see that, if you guys are interested in that, uh, if it would be a good little challenge for us to do on this, uh, on this particular game. I do love playing this game, it's an app and it's a very, very cool game. The graphics are a little bit, eh, you know, a little bit pixelated every once in a while uh, when you're about you know a hundred meters out and you see a, a house and you try to aim and you want everything to look perfect like it's gonna take a while for your phone to render that and uh, the one thing I will give it is that you you oftentimes see movement really really well in this game uh, you can be very very far out and you can see movement from across the map basically um, but just let me know if you guys are interested in the game, if you're interested in this little challenge that I've proposed, uh, we can keep up with it. And it's a game that I, I honestly play a lot of, and it's on my phone, and it's very easy access, um, very easy to just pop up and get into a match. Now, you may have seen me, I'm doing this currently, but you may have seen me do this a little bit earlier in the video. Um, I'm taking some of these apples that, that I have, uh, and you can see it in the bottom bottom center that's my name and my health but right to the left of it I have um, some apples these are bandages uh, because of the because of the Christmas time the bandages are apples the med kits are candy canes and I think they also have soda cans and a med kit but that or the first aid the first aid is just like a crate that says first aid next to it but you always want to keep some of these on you. The ones that are very important, the ones I recommend, are the... You want to have about... I have 29 apples. You normally don't want to go more than 20. Uh, you want to have at least two or three candy canes, which are the med kits. You want to have one first aid kit, just because that's, I think, a full bar of health. And you want to have at least three to five Coke cans, just because the... Coke cans, when you drink them, they're the only ones that you can drink at full health and it'll give you a boost in speed and in health. So they do provide health, it's just not a lot, but um, if you're ever going to be engaged in a very, um, a very high uh, situation of shooting or firefight, um, you want to take one of those just because you're slowly healing and you're, you know that you have at least a, an edge against that opposing player. Now here, I'm just moving a little bit closer up to the next safe point. Um, the gas sort of moves in after about a minute and 50 seconds, so it's moving in currently right now, but since I'm so close to the safe zone, the closer you are to the safe zone from the gas, the longer it takes for it to get to the safe zone. 
if you were in a place that had uh, you had a lot to run from like you had you were on the edge of the map and you had to run practically across the map that gas is going to come a lot faster because it has to meet at the same time so the closer you are to the safe zone the actual longer it takes for the gas to get to you now i'm not too sure when i see these extra guys but i think i'm gonna see one in a little bit and i don't notice him when i'm playing the game but i'll be sure to make a little notation or make like a little tab and point him out where where I see an extra guy here and there. But I think I see at least two extra guys that I could have killed, or maybe if I had killed them, somebody would have heard me and I would have given away my position. So maybe it's a good thing that I didn't do it, but I can see him right there. I don't know if you see him right in the left. Look, right to the, where the, you can see on the right side where it has the crouch, the jump, and then the uh, cursor for aiming, right next to that pine tree that was there just a couple seconds ago. He's right there and he'll probably jump out of that exact same area in a little bit. Right here. Right above my cursor. Uh, I didn't see him in the game. I didn't see him in the game and, you know, it's kind of scary to think that he was always there. But, um, luckily he didn't engage uh, me. I think that's because we, maybe he took a different direction to the safe zone, but I went to the left. Um, I really tried to stay wide to the to the safe zone and I didn't really want to get into a fight because I knew that I was I, I I'm not too geared right now I think I have 2x and that's my best scope in a little bit I'm gonna kill somebody and I, I'm gonna get some really really good stuff and, and I'll bring that up when I get to there so one of the good uh, things about this game is that at any moment um, this guy that I saw or we, we see in in post shooting you know after I'm done recording uh, he could have come up and you know killed me, but it makes it makes the game exciting. It makes the game you know not the same every time you play it. Um, it has replayability, just like any you know battle royale game does have. Uh, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of you know patrolling the the gas area, making sure that you know if anybody is in the gas coming into the safe zone, there'll be technically there'll be easier kills to take. Um, just because they you know are behind they're they're you know already low on health because unless they're healing and in order to heal you stop um, they're taking damage and they're either one or two shot kills but as I'm sort of you know moving through the gas or through the wall of the gas um, I'm always keeping an eye out on my right up the hill uh, to the fields just in case there is somebody most of the time when we get to a smaller circle people are either crouched or prone. I've seen people prone um, in between waves you know they don't get up they just you know they're prone and they sneak into a safe zone so I'm pretty much just hugging the wall I'm kind of just you know making sure that if I am taking a little bit of damage I have enough uh, more than enough apples to heal myself uh, on this boulder, once again, I'm just, you know, peering out through the valley, just getting a little bit of, of, uh, of an advantage, you know, with cover on my side. Uh, moving down to this tree while looking up at this hill, um, just like in, you know, in, in times before, you know, um, high ground is key. Um, if you have the high ground, you see everybody, you see movement a lot better. So I am keeping an eye out for this hill. And uh, I actually do climb up this hill uh, one little, you know, uh, ledge at a time. Uh, all the while, you know, just staying near any trees, any boulders, uh, looking out, seeing if anybody's walking, seeing if anybody is uh, maybe going to approach me and I need to take them down. Uh, I don't really like these shacks. I think I go in there just in case, hopefully, maybe I'll find a scope. Uh, I don't find a scope, but I hate these shacks. There's only one way to enter. Uh, there's many windows facing uh, facing inwards um, and really it's a trap you know it, you get in there and you're stuck in there because unless you have you know a really really good um, vantage point on somebody uh, you're pretty much just stuck in a in a small room with one entrance uh, going in and out I'm not too sure if I go into one of these but I'm pretty sure that I do and uh, at this point I'm just looking for a 4x scope there are different um, scopes. There's the hollow scope, which I think I have one. Uh, there's a red dot uh, sight. Uh, they have a 2x, a 4x, and 
8x and I'm not sure if they have a 6x scope but my favorites hand down hands down um, you have to have a 4x you have to have one 4x you can have a 2x and a 4x that'd be fine but ideally 4x's are the way to go they uh, zoom in quite a good amount of distance and in single shot with an, uh, with an assault rifle uh, it's like a laser beam it just shoots precisely at the spot you're aiming at uh, the recoil is not that bad um, but I always tend to want to find a 4x if I get an 8x I hope that I have a sniper with me uh, if I don't I'll put it on you know whichever assault rifle I'm favor uh, favoritizing in the game uh, usually I either put it on the AR-15 or the M4A1 which those are the two guns I have I like the artwork for the um, AR-15 it looks really really well done um, I actually don't find anything in this shack so I kinda just hunker down here see what I have and then um, seeing if I have anything I can drop if you can see in the bottom left area there's a little picture of a backpack now I have a level 2 backpack which means its capacity is very um, confined which means I can't really carry more than you know a certain amount I'll usually just carry my ammunition and first aid um, when I do end up getting a level 3 which should be in a little bit a level 3 backpack it has a lot more capacity uh, normally with a level 2 backpack you just want to carry your um, ammunition you want to carry the first aid and that's about it when you have a level 3 backpack and maybe a level 3 armor piece because the level 3 armor piece every armor piece adds to your capacity of carrying um, you might want to have some uh, grenades uh, health ammunition for both an assault rifle and maybe a sniper and you might also want to carry multiple scopes you might want to carry a 4x scope and an 8x scope you might want to put 4x scope for you know like I'm up in this hill and I put the 4x on my sniper and I can aim perfectly at the house but in 8x I can aim from here across the river and uh, and, and just switch them out so when you do have a bigger backpack it, it, you can afford to you know prioritize you know what do I need right now what can I carry for future references is this uh, battle gonna be in a hill is it gonna be across the river is it gonna be in a valley so you can sort of you know carry more things now I do see that there's two presents here or two packages or two people that have died so I kind of just go up to it get proned or there's my level 3 backpack uh, I carry some more medication and then I see that there's a 4x so I pick that up I don't take the silencer because I think I have compressors on both of them I find another 4x a lot of people in this late in the game they just kind of um, kill the people and then just take off you don't really need the gear because you're already geared but for me I had very poor um, scopes so I was lucky enough to find both 4x's they're both attached to my AR-15 and my M4A1 so I get rid of the 2x and I get rid of the hollow scope and uh, I'm ready to fight I'm a little bit better well equipped now and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to spot somebody from a great distance uh, I make sure that I put on some meds and then we get right into I think I see a guy um, to my left in a little bit but we get right into the good part of this video towards the end of this video but really quickly before this video does end uh, I want you guys to let me know I didn't get a win on this one but I want you to let me know if you're interested in these types of videos uh, how do you want me to do them do you want me to to commentate live when I'm playing the game do you want me to do voiceovers I can explain a little bit more I thought this was gonna be difficult for me to uh, voice it over and you know out of the game moment uh, you don't get as much you know the excitement or you know the things that are happening in the moment but uh, I feel like it was really good it, it was a, it was an easier transition for me to explain but if you do want me to do live commentary then I can do that there is an option for that as well but let me know if you like this video by leaving a like let me know in the comments what you want me to do with this series if you want me to try to strive for that hundred kill uh, goal and I see somebody right there and I take him down this is why it's a this is why I say it's a laser look one shot kill two three four right there boom 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 it's like a laser beam with the 4x and I believe I'm using the AR-15 um, I leave him alone I see that there's a care package which 
uh, the airplanes fly over the map and I'm just looking to see if somebody's going to go take that. I actually don't go get it, but there's some airplanes that fly overhead and they kind of uh, drop these care packages. This is the second person I see while I'm moving to the river on the right side. He's going to be on the right side on the other side of the river moving as well. This guy could have seen me, he could have killed me as I was in the river. He didn't, so luckily uh, nothing happened to me, but where that care package is, that's where they're going to be. Um, and I'm actually glad that I didn't interact with him because I knew I get another kill right here. I think this is my fourth kill, and then I have another kill at the end. So I heard a little bit of shooting, and I, I, I assumed it was from him, but I do see somebody across the river. Luckily, I did not engage him because you're going to hear in a little bit, or, or actually you're not going to hear, but you're going to see on the top in the in the um, coordinates bar, you're going to see some fires or some shots being fired. Luckily, I didn't engage in this guy because I saw I was going to stop in the, in the water and just try to see if I can shoot, but I saw that there was multiple people shooting. So I basically thought, you know what, they're going to take care of you know, somebody's gonna get killed. I can clean up after that, and uh, and you know, I, I assume it was a good choice because I ended up second. So it was pretty good. It was a pretty good game, and I really liked it. Um, but let me know in the comments if you do enjoy this type of videos. If you want me to do live commentary, if you want me to do highlights, if you want me to leave the full 30 minutes, if you want me to, I can speed up some of the transitions to some of the kills. Uh, I can do a lot of things with this game to make it. Um, a lot more enjoyable but I want you guys to feel free to comment and let me know what you like about this game and what you want to see more of or how you want me to uh, produce videos for this game now just like before I'm just sort of checking the gas area I see that there's a house next to me and you know I don't know if somebody's in there uh, there's three people left including me so you know this guy or these other two people can be anywhere the gas hasn't completely closed in on the safe zone, so you still want to be cautious. You still want to have that cover of the tree. I know that the gas is from behind me, and it does take a lot of health, so if they're in that house, they're going to die pretty soon. So I kind of face the open area, the place where the gas is more likely not going to affect somebody, and uh, they might be hiding or crouching or prone uh, near. In a little bit, I'm going to move towards the care package, and I'm going to see my fourth or fifth kill uh, he's sort of gonna be on the side of that that wall that um, covers or is on the side of the river that covers him from the other area of the map so I'm I was lucky enough to not just go straight that way where I'm pointing right now because I was thinking about that hitting that boulder right there luckily I didn't um, I told myself you know what I'm gonna go around I know that there was some shooting over there and I want to see if they're if anybody's there, they're going to want to be uh, taken cover by the care package. So I kind of just wait a little bit, make sure nobody's moving. If they are moving, I'll be able to see them a little bit better. Uh, this this last circle is uh, the smallest circle in the game. Now, hindsight is 100% you know, accurate. It's kind of like that Mr. Obvious guy from the commercials. I have a grenade. I actually have two grenades on me. And that's the guy right there. I take him down. So there's two people left. Myself and somebody else. You know, I'm just keeping my scope up just in case, you know, somebody's gonna pop up uh, or anything like that. I have my scope ready and I'm ready to shoot at him. Now hindsight is 2020. I have two grenades that I could have utilized at this point. The smallest circle means that you don't have a lot of room to to move around. So if you know where somebody is, it's just a stone's throw away from them um, to get them. So I should have, in this last moments of these game of this game, I should have used my grenades. Now I was moving towards this guy's stuff because I know that there is coverage. It's kind of like the low low ground, but if they do have meds, I want to pick them up. Uh, I want to see if there's anything in this care package. Plus, the care package will itself cover me, and I'm already in the small uh, the small circle, the small safe zone. But I move up to sort of look over and peer, where is this guy? You know, I know that it's the smallest circle. I was just over there in that tree, so I know he has to be somewhere over here. I'm kind of, you know, guessing where is he at, where is he at? He's got to be over here somewhere. Um, 
and I'm just looking. I'm just kind of looking around, and I don't see anything until I see that he moves his head a little bit. I see that he pops his head a little bit, and this is where I take my soda can. I kind of want to have that advantage over him. Now you can see that I have a bonus stat on moving and a bonus stat on health, so I kind of want to have that in, in, in my advantage. But I could have used a grenade once I located him. So he's going to be right here. I don't know if you all can see him. He's right. And he's, I think I already saw him because I know that I flanked him right there. He was moving a little bit in between those that, that, that little bushes. And uh, I flank him and I say, okay, I'm going to come this way. He's right there moving right in front of my vision. And I could have used a grenade at any moment. That's why hindsight is so 2020. You know, it's so... This last part, you know, didn't need to occur. He's right behind this boulder. He pops out and has the, he ha, he's facing to the right. So he has that advantage. Like he'll see me before I see him and he just kills me. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next video.